Hey, hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a debugger in a four different way. First way will be a little bit easier, and the last way will be very customizable. So, see you after the intro. Alright, so for example, first write a title. Here is our title and let's make it heading one. Now it's time to create a debugger between title and paragraph. So for that, click on slash and write divider. Here you can see a block, divider block. Let's click on it. And here we can see a very simple divider. And now let's create a vertical divider. For that, click on slash and write quote. Here is our quote. Let's click on it. Here we can see a divider, a little tiny divider. But how about if you want to make it big? So for that, click on shift and enter. Here you can see it's going big. And if you want to change the color of divider, simply click on the six dot. Here you can see the color and you can choose any of this color. So for now, I'm just going to choose the red one. So here we can see a red divider. But the thing is, this two divider is not customizable. So how can we make it customizable? For that, we need to go through a different way. We have to take the help of code. So for that, click on slash and let's write inline equation. Equation here. Here we can see the inline equation block. And now here we have to write the code. So for the vertical divider, you have to write this code. I'll write this code somewhere in the description so you can easily find it and copy and paste it as i mentioned this one is very customizable so let's see how to customize it but before that if you still didn't hit the like button and subscribe you must do it now so first let's start with color here you can see red color let's change it and write it blue here you can see our vertical divider converted to blue and also you can customize it by any different color for example black or any kind of Okay, it's completely up to you. So how about if you want to make it thin or a little bit more white? So for that here you can see 10 pixel. Let's change it uh, to 100 pixel. Now we can see it's a big divider, right? But if you want to change it vertically, let's change the last number. So let's put another zero here. Yeah, now we can see it's changed vertically. And now let's write the code for horizontal divider. So for that again, same way, click on slash, then in line equation and let's write the code now we can see this divider working on horizontally also if you want to customize it the way is same let's change the number to 200 to 100 or maybe 1000 well follow the same process and customize it by the way you want and finally thank you for watching still if you didn't hit the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial see you in the next tutorial bye bye